everybody! I'm Fiera Luna, and I play games on the internet! If you're new here, thanks for stopping by, and if you've been here before, welcome back! Today, we're playing Monster Sanctuary! We've just finished defeating a champion monster here that mimics you. A totally normal champion monster. Reminds me of Nosk, actually. Um, for similar reasons of appears as you. Because that is the base Monster Sanctuary sprite that it appears as. Also, I love the Silveiro with improved flight. Love that for me. Wait, that leads to the Sun Palace. We don't need to go there. Oh, I probably don't need this marker anymore either. Friend! Oh, I did mark it correctly! Alright, back to the rest of this place. Uh, let's go down first and see if there's... Whoa, hello! Right, we opened that. Ah. That is not, in fact, what I wanted. Anyway, remember how much I, I, I love Switch puzzles, guys? Just love them. This place is a giant switch puzzle. And I admit, I'm not very good at it. No, that's not what I want at all. So I do need to go up above somehow. Well, let's take a look at how this connects. And if I come down here... I should be able to get all the way around if I do that, I think. I think. I mean, I can't go up that way, but I don't need to. There's this over here. Oh, hello. Hmm. Okay, I do need to come at this from a different way. Unless I need to break a wall in that other room, but I didn't think I did. Oh yeah, switch right, right, right. Okay. I still need to get to that switch somehow. Oh, boy. Wait, no, I see how I get to that switch. Okay, okay, I think I get it. No, I was right the first time. To turn this down. And then we come... Maybe? I did need to turn that up. <sighs> yeah, I did need to bring that up. But then I can't get back this way. Okay, one side or the other of that has got to give. Yoink! 
I'm amazed by how much of my first page I still use. I need to open this door somehow. So how do I get down below? I've trapped myself. Oh no. I haven't completely trapped myself. What is this control? Oh right. Never mind. I remember now. Does this mean that if I throw the... What are you controlled by? Not that. There's gotta be something here that I'm just not seeing. Like healing. Temp HP is like healing. Protect the damage doer. Oh boy. Oh, these guys are big tanky way ads. Well, I'm sure we can set them on fire good enough. Woof, I was right to protect the damage dealer. If they never get to my actual HP, it's fine. That's how it works. That's how healing works. All these boys are weak to fire. Wait. I'm gonna have you use Protect. So it's better if I use that to build a combo meter then. Get him! Oh no, they've got aging. This battle's going to get harder as we go. Aging stacks are super useful. Um... And we protect the damage dealer. I love Spoon. He does such a good job. Okay, let's get him in the back. Nice work, Toothpick! Good work, little buddy! I don't think we need to do protect. I think what we're going to do here is just hit him. Hit him with our little hitting hands! That's me in the corner. That's me in the spot. There we go. We're going to use cold toss on him even though he's not weak to it to build the combo counter for a toothpick. That's why we're building the combo counter for Toothpick! Crit, crit, crit! Way to go, Toothpick! You're so good at this! 
A giant seed! And a rocky egg that's dark shifted already! Well, we could turn him into a dark shifted spooky man. I'm just getting stuck going in circles is the problem. I know something here has to give and I don't know what it is. He's actually weak to it. I'm also surprised those guys are weak to magic and not physical. But here we are! fine with the shield that we have. Cold toss will do. A little more poison. Every, er, no, wait, that's burn. I'm silly. A little more burn, I guess. <laughs> Get him, crit. One crit. Aw, well, it's okay. You tried your best. Toothpick will show you how it's done. Toothpick knows how to make big yellow numbers come out of the badmins. Good work, Toothpick. So proud. Toothpick's so good to us. Oh yeah, congeal damage. Protect the Toothpick! More burn stacks. A little bit more. Toothpick? Get him! Yeah, those crits! We love to see them. <laughs> These goblins are doing so well! Like, I don't know why this is working, and truth be told, I don't know if I care why this is working. It's working, and that's the important part. It's great. Punch. Crits! Good job, little buddy! Get him, Toothpick! Toothpick's so good. Oh, a light shifted uh, Mocha's egg. Can I go out over the top? I can't come in this way because that wall is went away. And I don't think I can currently access the switch from the direction I would like to. Oh wait, I can go in from the bottom. Right? Because if it's up, then I must be able to get in this way. Okay, okay. We're back on track now. Yeah, yeah, alright. We're back on track now. I'm gonna have to fight these guys, I think. Unless...
Oh, almost. Okay, this should let me go through here, which should let me go down here. And then I can probably come back around and get that treasure, I think. Not from that direction, though. I've got to go this way. All the way around! Maybe not all the way. I'll have to put this back once I get the treasure. Was it worth it? Yeah, alright. It was worth it. I forgot to put the wall back. I literally said I'll have to put this wall back when I'm done and then didn't put the wall back when I was done. This is what I get. <laughs> They're weak to air, so I want to take fork, but fork would have to replace toothpick and toothpick is so helpful. Get him. Hit him with your hitting hands, little guy. He's so good at this. I'm so proud. All right, so here's what we'll do. We'll get rid of... We'll get rid of the middle one. And then we'll swap in. That's a lot of charge stacks. We'll swap in our wizard friend. That's a lot of charge stacks. Maybe we don't have to. Maybe Toothpick can just handle this. I think Toothpick can just handle this. Like, yeah, they won't be weak to him, but... I don't... Let's go! Get him! Crit! 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 Aw, he did some crits. Toothpick, show him how it's done! Get your crits! Get your crits, boy! He done did it! <laughs> also, I promise you that literally any gendered terms you're hearing for these goblins, they are whatever fits the bit. <laughs> v, I hope they're gendered. <laughs> 
<laughs> I hope their gender expression is uh, they respond to both uh, you go girl and add a boy. <laughs> hey, I got a Promethean egg. Have I already got one of those? Probably not. I'm going to name him Sparky. Can't be helped. I've also never used one of these before. I'm curious. What do you like? Lightning punches, heavy punch, protect. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. As long as this monster has 15 or more charge stacks, its magic is increased by 100% of its attack. That's bonkers. Oh, so it can use Thunder Strike. I see. I see what we're here for. Yeah, yeah. We're here to punch people. Okay, this this side is punch them until... And then this is more punch them until you have your super special attack. I get it. Yeah, okay. And then this is all the... Oh, hey, forge. Okay, yeah, I can see exactly how this monster could go. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous! I could take it through these two trees and this one over here and have a nonsense monster. I love him. We'll, we'll think about that later, because I, I think I could build a team that does charge stacks. I'm not as clever with team building uh, as some of the folks I play games with. Um, I've got a friend who's really good with uh, a game called Ceruleum Ultimate. Which, there is a monster in this game from that game. Uh... I've got a friend who's really good with that and building teams in that game. And I just, I am always impressed by the things that people do to build stuff like that. It's always really neat. There we go. Oh, but how do we get back over there now? I guess we gotta go over the top. Oh, hey, plot! Looks like it's Leonard. Why is he just skulking around here? Oh, it's you. I didn't notice you there. I suppose I was lost in thought. You probably noticed that my most loyal companion, my spectral lion, is gone. I've fought against one of the alchemists and it gave me a lot to digest. We are sorry for your loss, Leonard. The same thing happened to Will. But that's not everything. You see, I believe I recognize that alchemist. He wore a grinning mask and called himself Kimes, but that's not his real name. I believe that his real name is Richard, my older brother who went missing a few years ago. What? That must have been quite a shock. During the fight, I wasn't sure of it yet. There was something deeply unsettling about him, but I only realized it after the fact. You see, since he was older than me, Richard was always destined to have the Spectral Lion. He hatched his first monster from a very early age, and he quickly became known as a very smart and talented monster keeper. He was considered a genius who could possibly rise to the rank of Keeper Master. However, those closest to him knew that there was a dark side to him as well. He was overambitious, always ready to sacrifice his own monsters if it meant he could capture a champion monster and advance his esteem. 
Our family feared that it was too risky to pass the spectral familiar on to him. That it could corrupt him even more. However, it didn't help him either when they chose me to be the spectral keeper instead. He ran off and nobody heard from him since. I always took pride in the fact that I was chosen over him to be the Spectral Keeper, but deep down I knew it was only thanks to happenstance. Losing to him confirmed it for me. So it seemed like Richard joined the Alchemists because they offered him that which he was denied. Just like how the Alchemists want to regain that which they believe they deserve to have, a place in the old world. When they don't get what they want, they resort to trickery and underhanded schemes. Is that really the legacy that they want to leave on this world? Razis showed us that they can be better than that. Anyway, we should be careful with Richard, or as he calls himself, Kimes. He's stolen two spectral familiars so far. That's true. Uh, more than anything, this has shown me just how serious the situation is. Richard didn't just steal my familiar for his own personal reasons. There must be more to it. When he defeated me, he said something about how their leader Marduk would be so pleased with him. We gathered as much, too. The entire sanctuary is tied to our power, so it's quite troubling that they are targeting us. That's why we have to do all in our power to stop them. Mind you, just because I lost to my brother doesn't mean I'm giving up! I still have plenty of strong monsters to form a powerful team. I will get stronger and prove that I deserve to be the Spectral Keeper! <laughs> Looks like you didn't lose your resolve. That's great, Leonard. For now, you may take the lead. I will stay here a while longer. We... We will let him have this, guys. I'm... I'm gonna let him have this. Okay. Alley up. Right! That's how we get around over there. I think. Yeah? Yeah, okay, okay. We don't need to be alley up. We need to be down. Oh, no. Ah, think. Think. You know how this place is configured. I need this to be down, though, when I get over there. Wait a minute. We can go around this part. I, I think I remember. I think I remember how. <sighs> okay. And then we've got a door open underneath. So we should be able... Maybe I'm going about this in the wrong direction. Because I'm just going to come back into this same room. Yeah. Okay. I have to do this. Then go turn that. Then come back around and do this again. Okay. I think. I think. So if, I rem if I'm doing this right, I should be able to come back here and flip this switch here. Raise that block. And then now that the switch outside is flipped, I should be able to go through this way. And come around the top. Flip the switch and then come back. I think. Listen, you guys, I am bad at navigating the underworld. I don't feel bad about being bad at navigating the underworld. Oh, hey. Switchstone! Oh, hey! Can I get up there this way? Ah, I see. There's a switch up there. Anyway, then when we come back around this way, we should be able to switch this switch. And then go back around underneath um, to get down and go around that. Ah! There we go. 
Because the doors are open now. I want to go back to the Sun Palace. I like the music there. <laughs> right, we gotta go underneath and around. I can do this. And then we go this way. I'm gonna play a randomizer of this for Twitch, I think. I think Twitch deserves to get to see this too. Oh, but first I need to go outside. Uh, I need... Something with... Yeah. That's the little guy. Wizard hat! to get in a fight with all of you. I want in there. I can get in there now, actually. <laughs> Hello. Goodbye. Or at least I should be able to now. So we meet again, Keeper. Hi, Zosimos. I don't know how, but you managed to prevent the Monster Sanctuary from shifting towards darkness. And now, you are here! You might very well be the most capable Keeper the Sanctuary has to offer at the moment. The Sanctuary was only saved thanks to one monster sacrifice. You underestimate how much a single person or a single monster can do. Regardless of your actions, the tides of history cannot be averted! The Order of Alchemists is a true force that has shaped the fate of the world for thousands of years. Those who think that our order can be reduced to a footnote in history are wholly mistaken. I mean, you kind of already are, though. But fair enough. Fair enough, Jello. That's not what we're trying to do. The Order of Alchemists could be very well make the sanctuary its new home, as long as they're not causing any trouble. Razis already understood that and turned away from Marduk's teachings. That traitor doesn't deserve to call himself an alchemist! He's still practicing alchemy because he cares about keeping alchemy alive. He's a true alchemist. As long as we are forced to stay here, we are nothing but prisoners! We are deprived of our freedom to go where we want to go! That's what the old world has done to us. You keepers should not uh, be the ones turning over to our cause, not the other way around! But in almost 500 years of sanctuary history, monster keepers have never dared to dream of escaping from their self-made prison. That, that's because it's not a prison, pal. And what's worse is that you force monsters as well as people like us to share in your pitiful delusion. Over the centuries, the sanctuary has amassed a formidable array of monsters, as well as keepers, who have learned to control them. The time has come to mobilize the force that the Monster Sanctuary has become to take over the entire world! The Monster Sanctuary represents so much more than just that. You grew up to be a Monster Keeper and later decided to join the Alchemist, correct? If you grew up in the Sanctuary and yet can't see it for anything but a force to be used for conflict, we can't help you. If that is truly how you see the Sanctuary, we have no choice but to stop you. Even if you did stop us, don't you think others would eventually come to the same conclusion as us? As I said, the tides of history cannot be averted. We represent more than just the will of our leader, Marduk. We represent a change that will sweep across the world! You seek the key of power, don't you? I have already found it. It's in this treasure chest right behind me, but that is not all I found. This stone plate next to me has runes written on it which allow the one who deciphers them to summon a powerful monster! Unfortunately for you, I also already managed to decipher those runes. Behold! Great Fafnir! Grant me fierce cunning and dark resolve to smite those who stand in my path! Okay. Hilariously, Fafnir is a dragon. Okay. But... That's it for today, everybody. I will see you all next week for more Monster Sanctuary. 
Or you can come visit me tomorrow when I'll be streaming... Or goodness, when I'll be playing The Witness. <laughs> or you come visit me tonight when I'll be streaming. <laughs> However you choose to visit, don't forget to stop by and say hi. Uh, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share so that you can see more of this and so that other people can see it too. And I will see you all later. Thanks for playing along with me, everybody. Bye!